Hello, this is Elias from DPRMS. Welcome. In today's demo video, we will be covering Microsoft Azure Information Protection. In this demo, I will give you a brief description of the technology and what it does, and then I will focus on how it works from an end user perspective when the technology is being used. Before we kick off, allow me to thank everyone from all around the world who are watching our videos. Make sure at the end of the video that you do not forget to subscribe to our channel as we will be constantly producing more demo videos as we move along. So what is Azure Information Protection and why would you need it? Azure Information Protection is a technology from Microsoft designed to help organizations with protecting their information. It would not be uncommon that organizations would have some classification codes based on the level of sensitivity of the information. For example, it could be something like this. Personal, public, internal, confidential, secret. The kind of information that will fall into these categories can vary depending on what kind of company you are. The wording might be different, but in general, they will all be similar in some sense. So. How does Azure Information Protection fit into all this? Well, Azure Information Protection is designed to help organizations classify the information and then protect it based on the level of classification. Let me explain this to you in three steps. With Azure Information Protection, at first, you will classify the information. Is it confidential or is it internal? What happens after this is that the technology will label the information. In other words, metadata will be injected into the document, which would enable applications to know what kind of a classification it has. Thereafter, let's say if a document is classified as secret, Azure Information Protection will protect that document with information rights management so that it remains secret. This will encrypt the document and enforce a policy on who can do what with this document. All these steps can be done manually, but it can as well be configured to run automatically. Let me show you how this works. To do that, we have prepared a demo environment with two companies, Nuvage and Archipolar. We will begin showing you how Azure Information Protection works manually. At first, Wade Black will label our award document and then remove the label. He will then label and share a document with Melissa Price in Archipolar. At last, Melissa will open this document. We will then show you how Azure Information Protection works automatically. We will at first see how an Excel document can be classified and protected automatically. We will then see how this works when sending an email. And a quick look at the technologies we are using for this demo. Client Experience, Windows 10, Office 2016 Pro Plus, and RMS Sharing App. Email Service, Exchange Online. For the Information Service, Azure Information Protection, and Azure RMS. So, let's get started. In this slide, Wade Black is working on a Word document. Note that on top of the document, there are five classifications to select. In this case, he will label this as internal. After saving the document, take note that there is an information window informing Wade Black that the label should be changed to confidential. He clicks on change now and we can see that the document suddenly got a water stamp. He can, if he wants, change the label back to internal. He will, however, need to provide a reason for why the classification is being reduced. He simply selects that the document no longer requires to be confidential and he confirms this. Voila, we can now see that the water stamp is no longer available. In the next slide, Wade Black will share a confidential document with an external user using the RMS sharing app. He adds in the email address. When he's ready, he clicks on the send button. 
The RMS sharing app will now protect the document and attach it to an email ready to be sent to Melissa Price. He clicks send on the email and shortly afterwards he receives an email that the document was shared and protected successfully. In the next slide, Melissa Price in Archipolar will open the protected document Wade Black just sent. We can see that she can open the Word document successfully and we can also see the permissions on the document are restricted. In this slide, we will show you how Azure Information Protection can be configured to work automatically. Wade Black is working on an Excel file which contains credit card numbers. He has the option to label the document but chooses not to do so. He goes ahead and saves the document. We can see after the document is saved, the document becomes labeled as confidential. And take a look at the top of the document. We can see another message informing Wade Black that the document was automatically protected with IRM template as well. In the next slide, Wade Black will prepare an email with some credit card numbers and send it to Dana Moran, which works in the same company. He chooses not to label the email and then sends it off. Looking in the send items, we can see that the document was automatically protected with IRM before it was sent away. Take also note that the email was automatically labeled as confidential. In this slide, Dana Moran will open the email that Wade just sent. We can see that it is indeed protected and she can open it successfully. So this was a quick demo on how Azure Information Protection works. We learned that it's a perfect tool for classifying and protecting information. Take note that we can automate the whole process allowing for the sensitive information being classified and protected directly at once. We did not cover this in the demo, but you can as well with Azure Information Protection also get a perfect overview on how the classified information is being used. So how do you get Azure Information Protection? Let's take a look at the licensing. I recommend you to double check the licensing costs and terms directly on Microsoft website or through a partner as they can change from the day this video is being recorded. However, as of right now, the Azure Information Protection starts at $1.7 per user and month and can go up to as little as $4.25 per user and month. If you are already subscribing to Enterprise Mobility Plus Security or Secure Productive Enterprise, then it is already included in the deal. Before you go ahead and get Azure Information Protection, it is worthwhile to take a look at some of the technology requirements on the link provided below. We are near the end of the video, but before we finish, Azure Information Protection is big and there are loads of things you can do with it. To learn more about the product, we are providing you with the link below to the product page. And in case you have questions that we have not answered in this demo, we are also providing you with the frequently asked question link. We at DPRMS would like to thank you very much for watching this video. It is a great pleasure to have you with us. Here at DPRMS, we value your privacy and we will constantly post new videos on how you can protect your information with the latest modern technology available. Therefore, do not forget to subscribe to our channel as more demo videos will come soon. Have a good day and take great care. Bye-bye.